Hey gang, Steve Gardner here coming at you from EXP Realty. Uh, I wanted to do, it's pretty advanced stuff, but I wanted to go over a KV Core training tip. That's our CRM. And if you're first time ever viewing uh, one of my videos, uh, KV Core is a uh, contact management resource, uh, basically a website uh, with some back end uh, stuff. So at EXP, we have that as part of our, our part of our uh, fees, our low fees, uh, where um, you can basically do a lot of a lot of different things uh, to your to your uh, sphere or your customer base, buyers, sellers, all that kind of stuff. There's something it's called a um, mass email, schedule a mass email, and I use it to send out a um, excuse me, send out a a monthly newsletter. So I'm going to do a tutorial and it's going to be quick, but it's, it's, it's wonderful. So I do a monthly newsletter. Uh, and what I do is it's template driven. So I can change some, uh, you know, maybe a listing of the month, some information, uh, you know, tax deadline was just for Homestead just passed. So on my last, e uh, monthly newsletter, it went out reminding everybody to, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, and uh, we'll get right down to it. So bear with me. I am going to use the new uh, version of KV Core. They just went from classic to new. So it's kind of, I'm forcing myself to do it. I like it. It is better, but it is different. So bear with me if uh, I, I get stuck. Uh, we're going to be on the fly here. So anyway, so marketing autopilot. Okay. You have a thing called scheduled mass emails. So basically you can uh, make an email in the template, in, in the editor system, you can do all kinds of great stuff. And then you can just send it out to a particular type of contact. You can send it out to everybody in your, in your mailing list. You can send it out to a hashtag. Uh, you know, let's say you got a new listing and you wanted to send out a mass email to everybody that's hashtagged waterfront property. You just got a waterfront listing. Hey, by the way, I just got this waterfront listing. You can do that. So it's very flexible and it's, it's, you can use it in different ways, but I'll show you what I do. Uh, first of all, so what you're going to want to do is the first thing you have to do is you have to go to your smart campaigns tab. Okay. And this is where your, all your automated, ta uh, systems are, but there's a templates, uh, tab here. Okay. And these are all different templates. Okay. That, that come customized or that are part of the system. Uh, I have a weekly, I did a weekly at first and that was just too much. So I went to a monthly newsletter. So if I search monthly newsletter, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone one that I used in the past. Okay. These are my monthly newsletters. They go out, try to be at the beginning of the month. Okay. Here's my last one. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, go in here and I'm going to edit this one. Okay. I'm going to pull it up and here's my newsletter template like my last listing, the beautiful, beautiful house on South Beach Street uh, that's on the water, gorgeous. So I advertise this and I'm gonna advertise it again, I believe here coming up. Here's my uh, deadline for homestead exemption. Uh, I've got a little video on how to sell your home. I got some information about why I made the switch to EXP. Great on the fly video Aaron did with me uh, almost, almost a year and a half ago. Uh, stuff about EXP, housing market information, home value information, and all these are things people can click. Now, I came up with this and uh, I sent it out. So I may change some of the information on it. So what you can do is you use the same template. I've made this up already and here's all your tools. You have to learn how to do this. And there's classes in KV Core on how to use the email template editor. Okay. And I just, you know, there's YouTube videos on it. You can add videos, you can do all, you can do all kinds of crazy things. It's wonderful. So what you do is I will actually clone this template. I just wanted to show you this. Okay. So I'm going to close this out. <clears throat> I'm going to go back down and bear with me to the same one. I'm going to clone it. Okay. So you see here, it made an exact copy of this. Okay. I'm going to clone it. I'm not going to change anything right now. If I wanted to change the listing out to something else, I could, but I'm going to clone this template. Okay. So it should show up in here as a clone. 
Okay, so I'm going to refresh the screen and it should show up. Now bear with me, I know this is a little advanced, but it's worth it. And once you set up your templates and it, it's, it doesn't take me 15, 20 minutes to do my newsletter once, once a month, I think it's well worth it. Um, so I refresh this, it should, I hope, appear. Oop, let me search monthly newsletter. I have a ton of templates. If I type in monthly, it should show up, pull it up by the template name. Up oh, here it is. Copy. Okay, so this is the original. Here's the copy. Now I don't have to worry about messing this one up. I can go in and edit it. Okay, so I could actually at this point change the, 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 the date because I'm going to send one out here shortly. So I'm actually going to do this now because I'm going to have to work on this in a few days. Probably this the end of the week or this weekend at the latest. This is going to be my 03 slash, uh, I'll do 05 slash 2021. Okay. Same title goes out. And then I can go through here. If I want to change this listing out, I'll change the picture out by all these edit buttons. Change whatever I like. When I'm done editing it, I can update the template. Okay. It's done. So this one will be right here. 030421. I will get rid of this one. The copy, I don't need that anymore. Here it is. And I can go back and edit and change it and all that kind of stuff. So now, how do I send it out? Okay, so what you do, go back to your marketing autopilot, go to schedule mass emails, get started. These are all my past ones that I've sent out, okay? Last month I sent out um, to 1,800 people got this email. Schedule email. Now I can go by uh, hashtag, like I said, or I can go by status. So I wanna send this to everybody. So I will select sphere, new lead, client, contract, close, almost send it to everybody. Prospect, active lead. This is pretty much, that's it, that's, that's it. That's everybody in my database, okay? Then I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna choose the template. Oh, look at that. It already knew what I was doing. So it dropped it right here for me. Click on it. Boom, there's a preview and you can send a test. You can do preview and see what it looks like and you can send a test to your own email before you send it to see what it looks like, okay? So, monthly uh, newsletter is the template. Let me do that again. Didn't take. Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> well, this is working out. This is the new, bear with me, this is the new version. What's happening? Normally it pulls it over. There's my subject, okay? Then I can go include a signature, which you should have set up in your KV core, so your email signature, and you hit schedule. And I can send it out tomorrow, okay? And then I'm gonna put 8 a.m. I'm not gonna send it at 8 a.m., but I just wanted to show you this. And then I can schedule it. So this is gonna to go to everybody. It's gonna be the template that I chose, and this is the subject line. 
And tomorrow, let's see, Wednesday. There we go. Boom, this should work. It is, it is scheduled. So <laughs> tomorrow at 8 a.m., this, this, this uh, email is going to go out. And you'll see it. It accepted it, and it's going to pull up on my schedule. And it's going to show the number of contacts in a second. So 1,957 contacts are going to get that what's happening in the market uh, newsletter. So... Anyway, so I hope you found this. Now, bear with me. I'm sorry about the, the new, going back to the new version. But um, you can see where this is powerful. So it's something I recommend, and it's not hard. Once you have your contacts in your, in your KV Core, which you should be syncing up here with your email, if you have Google contacts, you can sync them. So all your contacts in your Google are also in your KV Core. Anyway, so I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you did, you can check it out on my YouTube uh, channel. I have some KV Core tips and tricks there as well. This is a long video. It's pretty advanced. But you can also look for this sort of information in the learning portal right here. There's actual videos on using that email editor tool. It takes a little while to get used to it. Once you do it, it's, it's really powerful. Um, but uh, you can also check out my Facebook page, my business Facebook page, all the videos there as well. Until next time, thanks. Take care.